The USA Softball Women's National Team, or Team USA, went head-to-head -head with Japan's Toyota Red Terriers in a doubleheader matchup at Kazuna Stadium July 31st. The games kicked off with Team USA up to bat, picking up two wins with 8-1 in the first game and 10-3 in the second. Monica Abbott, a pitcher for Team USA, says playing for the people back home is bigger than herself. When you compete internationally, anytime you wear you know, the three letters across your chest, USA, it means so much more to us because uh, it's not about you anymore. It's not about your particular team. You know, it's about every little kid that's on a military base. It's about the kid that just picked up a softball in Salinas, California, or in Houston, Texas, wherever they are. It's that person that has played softball all their life. It's the person that just plays casually, and it's the fan that watches on TV. So you're no longer just representing you and your community. You're representing an entire country and everyone that you know, lives and breathes the red, white, and blue. Earlier in the day, Team USA had a workshop where they helped teach some stretches and techniques to girls from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni and the local Japanese community in preparation for the match. Monica Abbott also said seeing the children's joy for softball motivates her. It was a lot of fun. We got to interact with them. We played catch, we played a little, did a little bit of defense, uh, we warmed up with them, and then they helped us during our uh, batting practice demonstration. It was a lot of fun. The kids were really excited. And just to be able to see the joy that they get out of softball, it radiates out of them and it makes us more inspired to play. Team USA will now travel to Chiba, Japan, where they'll join 15 other participating countries for the World Baseball Softball Confederation World Championship opening ceremony. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm PFC Jackson Fryer.